here I have two lists. One is the blue list over here is my master list and the orange list is a list that somebody gave me um, and they want me to get some data. So on my master list I have a bit of data, I have a bit of information, I have a name, I have a favorite color, and I have an age. So and favorite color and age as you can see over here are the things that my buddy wants me to get for him. Okay, now I could just look these up manually, right? But for one, I don't even know if these names are on this list. Now I'll tell you right now, they are, uh, spoiler alert. But um, the, for, for two, if you look at my list over here on the left, there are a lot of names and a lot of A names. I just pulled a uh, database of names. And so, uh, yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> anyway, um, 442 individuals listed on this on this table here so it could take me I mean it wouldn't take me all day probably I could sort and look it up pretty quick but it, it might even take me 10 minutes but using a function called vlookup I can actually find the answers that I'm looking for in a matter of seconds so um, the vlookup function what it does is it takes a value like for example it takes a value on this list looks it up on this list or in this column right here and then it returns a value associated on the same row depending on which the row it actually returns depends on which row I tell it to. So to find the favorite color just like with every formula I'll, or every function I begin it with an equals sign and then I type V lookup and just for just so that we can kind of get an idea of what we're doing here, I'm going to use the help. Um, the text is really small. Sorry about that. But um, I recommend you go to your own Google Sheets account and look at some of the help or just Google the topic. It'll give you more details. But essentially, there's four pieces to this function that we're going to type in. The first is the search key. That's what we want it to look up. So that's going to be this one right here right? The second is the range. That's the range we want to look in, which is going to be this table over here. The third is the index, meaning in my range, how many columns over do I want to select? That'll make sense in a minute. And then is sorted indicates whether the column will be searched. Um, or, um, the column to be searched is sorted, in which case the closest match for the search key will be returned. Usually, I mean, that's optional, but uh, I usually just type false in there and you'll see you'll see why anyway so vlookup um, I'll go ahead and type it in so first the search key I'm just going to click what I want it to search for I want it to search for this right here okay and then I'm going to break it up with a comma and now where do I want it to search for in this range so I'm just going to select column A and drag all the way over now the one thing you need to remember with the vlookup is it's always going to search for your key what I selected in the first column of your range. In other words, if I were to select, if, if my names were to be over here in column D, it wouldn't work because it wouldn't look up column D and look left. It always looks up the furthest left column in your range and then it searches that way. Now I'll go ahead and hit comma. Now the index, this is which column I want it to select. So I have three columns selected. So for favorite color, I want it to select the second column in my range. So I have A, B, C, three columns. My second column is favorite color, so I'm going to type a two because I want it to bring back column two. And then I'm going to type one more comma, and I'm just going to type false in here. Basically, all that means is I want it to find an exact match. If it doesn't find an exact match, then uh, yeah, I don't want it to give me anything. And I hit enter. Oh man, here, let me get that a little bit bigger for us here. Okay, so Ada Anderud's favorite color is blue. And let's let's just spot check that really quick. So Ada um, Anderud, oh, that's right there. Hm, blue, that makes it easy, right? So did we get it right? We sure did. Now, the nice thing is now that we've typed the formula in once, we can just go ahead and drag on down. Okay. Now, one thing you have to be careful of, though, in this example, the range that I used was a whole column. 
I recommend you go that route. You can't always go that route, but if not, you'll have to use absolutes, which we go over in another video. All right, so now we have everybody's favorite color figured out. Let's see if we can do their age. So we'll do the same, pretty much the same formula. In fact, you could almost even, uh, well, I'm not gonna do that. That'll be a little more than we wanna do right now. So we'll just type it again. So equals, okay, and it's V lookup parentheses. We're still wanting to look up the name. That's kind of the thing we have in common. That's our key. Comma in A through C. Still the same thing. Comma. Now the index. This is where it's going to get different. Before we put in a two because we're looking up favorite color. Now we're looking up age. So we go one, two, three columns. So it's the third column. All right. Now, don't be uh, confused. It's not it's not referencing necessarily the C, right? It's just the third column in my range, no matter what range I select. And then comma and then false. Enter and age 59. Here we go. We got it right. Now, just for example's sake, I'm going to just add my own name in here. OK, Ursula. I don't know how to spell Ursula. <laughs> and Johnson. Now that's a name I don't think is on this list. Actually, I know it's not. Um, whoops, I did it wrong. Ursula Johnson. And now I'll show you what it looks like when you get an error. So when your VLOOKUP doesn't work. Um, now it doesn't necessarily mean it's broken. We'll talk about it. Okay. So now we've continued our formula and we got an error. It's telling us, did not find value Ursula Johnson in the VLOOKUP evaluation. In other words, it looked on this entire list and it didn't find anyone named Ursula Johnson. So it gives us this hashtag N slash A, not available, whatever. I don't know what it means. But essentially it gives us an error. Now, um, what it, what an error, uh, I mean, that doesn't look very pretty on our spreadsheet, right? So, um, you know, you may want to go through and delete those out, or we could also use is an if error statement. Now I'm going to warn you, an if error statement, if you ever use it, I would use it after you've written your formula. And this is the reason why. If you write your formula incorrect, it won't really tell you whether or not it's incorrect. Because basically, so let me show you what we'll do here. Up here in this VLOOKUP, now we're going to build a nested function here. So. We're going to do if error, open parentheses. And what if error does is, is it um, it has two, two things uh, or two uh, components in it, value and value if error. In other words, it does one thing. And then if there's an error when it does that thing, then it does something else. So my value that I want to do is just that formula. I want it to look up the name and give me the color. All right. Then the comma, if I get an error back, I'm just going to put quote, not on list, end quote, and then close parentheses. All right. Now what it does, notice this didn't change. And the reason why it didn't is because there wasn't an error to begin with. But if I pull my formula all the way down, notice what it does on Ursula's name. Okay. So again, we did a nested, nested function here or a nested formula. We did if error, open parentheses. Then we just did a comma at the end and quote, quote, oh no, on list. Break it down. Now, the reason, again, the reason why I say that that's important to keep in mind is, or to write your formula first before doing if error is look at this. What if I type a seven in here, which this is going to give me an error because a seven in my VLOOKUP range, there were only three columns. There's not seven. So it's going to give me a problem. It's going to yell at me or tell me something's wrong. But the issue is, is now it's telling me not on lists. And that's not really true, right? Whereas if my if error was never there, I just did my regular VLOOKUP, it would give me a different error, OK? VLOOKUP evaluates to an out of bounds range. So it's telling me right there, the range that I'm looking at, this seven, it's out of bounds. It's not within the bounds that I set. It's not within the range I set. So if you use an if error statement, make sure that you use it 
after you know your formula is working the way it should. Um, that way you don't uh, run into an issue with thinking something maybe isn't on the list when really it is, you just wrote a bad formula.